Prosopokoiluski Rafa from the Indonesian islands of Flores and Lombok. Uh, the subspecies is named K Sukhe. I have to change substrate or check substrate today and um, I made it in this way that I uh, checked all the larvae, I wrote the, the weight in grams on each of the boxes so that I can decide in what kind of bigger boxes I will uh, change them because uh, females usually they are not going over 20 grams so they don't need that big boxes but males can get really big. Let's have a look. I've written um, two little boxes with females, they're around 17, the maximum is 20 gram and let's see whether we can find out why it's a female. They are a little bite, a little bit bite, it is um, this uh, here of us. If you if we have a look at one of these segments here, sometimes we have the chance to see it's like kind of yellow stripes on the skin. Uh, this is difficult to see here, huh? Yellow stripes on the skin, it must be here in this yeah, now look you see it a little bit here yellow stripes, so you know that's a female, but now it's a little bit di difficult I have to use a microscope for that uh, so that I can show it to you exactly but it's not that difficult to see also if you look at the head capsule I take a big male here look at this one, 32 grams uh, you see immediately the, the difference in the size of the head capsule of this animal look this is a male how big the jaws are and smaller the ones of the female but they are both a little bit bitey so you have to pay attention one is a male not for you for the camera but for the people <laughs> who try to one is the male this one the big one and this is the female the smaller one you see the head capsule is quite different in diameter it's not that big and Usually the females they don't get bigger, so I prepare a little box, 500 milliliters for them, and I put them in here. So with the head down, so they can really dig in, and I close it again. And for this uh, big animals, of course, I ch I also choose a big box where they can um, dig in and finish their life cycle. They can get over. 40 grams and I guess this one is a really big one this will probably become even bigger look at this big head capsule and the jaws also they make some, some, some a little bit the bossy sound if you take them or they are uh, disturbed in the box they, they bought a little bit like an iPhone when it rings so, they move around and try to chase the one away who, who is disturbing them. A little bit of water, you know. Lombok and Flores, these are tropical islands, always wet, always warm. And uh, that's why you can keep them uh, pretty wet here. So, where's the paper so that I know afterwards how big they were. So, and uh, look at the Sometimes the boxes they look a little bit different. This one is quite brown and it's everything uh, like earth already. That's mostly because there, if there are worms in, in there, a little grey worms, they also take their part of the substrate and make the substrate from this white or, or yellow white. A color to this brown earthy color so and you see that here there must be a lot of it somewhere here because there's a hole let's have a look where it is they also dig this kind of tunnels into the substrate and this probably is a really big one let's have a look yeah it's a fat one it's also a male now you see the legs down here it's rubbing the legs against one side of the other leg and take that makes a bossy sound you see that here the on the, the under leg here it, it rubs them it rubs them a little bit on the second leg so that it makes a bossy sound so we have a check on the weight scale 
Now this is around 30 grams, 29.3, a big male of course. And also this one, I have another way how I can offer them some really good food. I take a kimchi bottle and I just cut this bottle in the middle, like this one. So, and then I place the bottle in one of the big boxes here. So, like this. And, and then what we do is we place a little bit of the old stuff in here. And then I put the larvae in front of this of this uh, kimchi bottle half. And if the larvae likes it, she will dig into that bottle and we will see whether this larvae will be a pupa inside of this bottle. That's what happens last time when I checked it out also with uh, Dorcus Titanus. Uh, from Palawan, they also made the same. They went into this kimchi bottle and they pupated inside of this uh, bottle. So, a little bit water so, to keep the whole thing wet. And then uh, we close it again. Where is the cover of it? Oh, I didn't take it yet from this side. The cover of it. Uh, okay. So, that's how I do it. and. You see, I have a lot of this larvae here, so only I didn't see only one wasn't there where I wanted the larvae. There are more of more than 50 that I checked now. They are between 15 and 32 grams now. That's really big. How they can grow big in one of these little 500 milliliter boxes? Incredible how big they get with this little bit of uh, wooden material inside here. So check it out.